Getting made up. Well, we'll get into the DJing in a minute, but so it's just it started apparel, and then you mentioned SEO and marketing. Yeah. How's that kind of? Well, it kind of became a thing where it's like someone would ask for a hat, and then they're like, "Oh, can you do shirts?" And I was like, "Oh, now we can do shirts." And then people were like, "Oh, can you design a logo for me?" And then it's like, all right, we'll design your logo for you, put it on a hat, put it on a shirt. And then they're like, you know how to build a website? And it's like, yeah, we can build you a website. And ah, then it's, so, it just so it's just like growing and thing. And then, you know, we're getting into print now also. So when people want business cards and, um, you know, they want letterheads and those sort of things, flyers. So it's just, it's just slowly, you know, someone asks for it and then we see if we can do it. And then we do it. If we can do it, we can do it. If not, you know, we'll find someone that can for them. Cool. And then... Um, and then we're just trying to grow and grow our business into offering all aspects of like gear, apparel, promotional products, you know, design, the website, things like that. That's awesome. And since you you mentioned growth, so being that it's like a local business here, and how has it been um, to kind of? I don't know. A lot of people have a hard time with the whole mom and pop thing. Yeah. So how has it been? Because I always support mom and pop. Yeah. Um, it's. I think what's really benefited me, the business really grew from just my personal social media, that sort of thing, and that's where we're getting initially orders, a lot of word of mouth, and then um, I still say a huge bulk of it comes from word of mouth, you know, people tagging you on Facebook or Instagram or that sort of thing, and then, um, and then it was just really growing the social medias for the business itself, like Instagram has been a huge help for us. Um, we, get a, we actually get a lot of business and from Instagram, people hitting us up, that, that sort of thing. And then while we were working on the SEO work, like local SEO and regular SEO, that has helped a lot. So local SEO helps a lot. So like if you type in custom hat in Google, we basically pop up first everywhere. So and That's good. And so when people are just typing, you know, custom hat, custom hats, you know, embroidery, our goal, that's what my main focus was really trying to get up there. And while that was developing, a lot of it was being driven through my personal social media and that sort of thing. So, um, on like smaller orders, smaller business, other small businesses, we get a lot of business that way. Trying to capture the bigger businesses um, initially was kind of hard because, you know, you're a small company, you just started off, no one knows who you are. They're right. like, you have no Yelp reviews, you have no stars on Google. And now that we have, I pretty much, we think we have five stars on Yelp, five stars on Google Maps, all that sort of stuff. So once you get established, it takes some time, probably like six months to a year or so once you're really established, then the bigger companies start reaching out to you or you can go to them, offer them things, and then, you know, try to be competitive. Um, it's harder with the bigger companies also because the big companies, you know, they'll go to China, they'll go to, right. you know, try to find, they always try to find the cheapest price. So it's, you know, it's, you play with them, but a lot of them like it. The big companies local in town they like it because they can just come down here and talk to you face to face rather than emailing back and forth and not understanding each other that sort of things right so are you seeing a shift i mean as as you know I, i'm like have started a media company yeah so are you seeing a shift of like the the small businesses that have come to you like everybody's kind of in that entrepreneurial thing right now just based on i don't know how political climate is or just kind of you know, a lot of us are kind of like, we don't want that traditional nine to five. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I feel, um, I don't know how you'd put it. I guess there's like, there's, you know, there's definitely different groups of people. There's people who want the nine to five life. You know, they go to work, clock in, clock out, five o'clock, they're not worried about anything. They don't worry about work. Mm -hmm. Me, I get bored. You know, I always need to be doing something. So, Starting my own business is great, and it's I think it's great f for my mind and things like that because I don't even look at the clock. I show up when I show up, and then I usually it's me leaving. I'm like, oh, crap, it's already 7, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., you know. So it's time, the perception of time is gone, mm -hmm. you know, which I really enjoy. I mean, at first it was definitely a struggle. You know, you're always worried about money, making money, paying your own bills, things like that. But, I mean... You just gotta grind it out, and you know if you really want something, you'll you'll be successful with it. You just gotta you know put your passion and heart into it, and just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And if you're really passionate about it, there's no reason why you shouldn't succeed in it. Right. You know, there's always a need for certain things. You know, there's always a need for 
there's always going to be a need for a hat. There's always going to be a need for social media help. You know, you just have to find the people that do it. Um,